Dear ladies and gentlemen, yes, let's wait. Yeah, please start. Fortunately, we cannot start without you and your video. Yeah. Thank you very much. Dear ladies and, and gentlemen, dear colleagues, uh, uh, let me open this uh, station uh, council session. I would like to uh, to remind you that uh, the session that took place uh, on Monday on discussing uh, the, the station of uh, Slobodan Roman Andreevich. Uh, was uh, transferred for technical reasons uh, on to the 18th of uh, September at 11 o'clock. Um, well, therefore, I would like to shorten my presentation, take into account that uh, most parts of the of my uh, uh, presentation was already read last time. Uh, well, the. The dissertation council um, discussing the dissertation of uh, uh, the dissertation of Slobodan Roman Mikhail Andreevich uh, on the topic the interaction of interaction of corporations and states and implementation of international policy in the sphere of poor activity. Uh, uh, let it be dec uh, let it be declared open according to this uh, to St. Petersburg University uh, regulations um, uh, dated on the 29th of June 2020. I, Lagutina Maria Lvovna, Doctor of Political Sciences, uh, was appointed uh, chairman of the Distation Council and therefore and also members of the Station Council on, uh, in remote mode. Um, uh, Gribanova uh, Galina Isako, Doctor of Sociological Sciences, uh, acting head of the, de uh, of the Department of International Political Process in Business. Can you hear us, Galina Isako? Can you see us? Yes. Uh, then uh, Nikolai Maratovich Mezhevich, Doctor of Economics, uh, uh, Economic Sciences, uh, Professor of the Department of European Studies, St. Petersburg University. Can you hear us and see us? Yes. There, uh, Vitaly Vladimirovich Kozlovsky, Doctor of Economic Sciences, a Professor of the Department of Finances, uh, Finance and uh, Accounting uh, of Grodno uh, State University, uh, Belarus. Can you hear us? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, and and uh, also on, with us uh, is uh, Sophie Eager on the record, uh, Doctor of Economic Science, uh, Head of Department of Wor uh, World Economics and, and International Economic Research. Unfortunately, uh, she is absent. Uh, and uh, Slobodan Romanovich is with us uh, to to improve the quality of uh, of connection. Please. Uh, uh, switch off your microphones. That's uh, my request to the uh, members of the stage council. When you're given the floor, uh, your microphone will be switched on. There's an audio recording and video recording of the station council and simultaneous interpretation uh, from Russian into English and from English into Russian is supplied. And everything is broadcast live on the website of St. Petersburg University. Also, there's an electronic uh, email address. Uh, uh, where you can uh, send your um, your questions um, uh, that uh, relate directly to the dissertation and the uh, and the ongoing discussion of the uh, of the dissertation council presentation of the uh, dissertation uh, presentation. Well, all questions should. Uh, uh, relate directly to the content of the dissertation, and also you have to uh, to sign your uh, uh, message. Um, it, they will be relayed to me uh, by the technical ser uh, support services. Uh, uh, irrelevant questions will not be transferred to me. According to the um, uh, regulations uh, on awarding St. Petersburg, uh, awarding uh, academic degrees St. Petersburg University. Uh, the dissertation council a uh, dissertation council session is uh, legitimate uh, if uh, not fewer than uh, not less than two thirds of the dissertation council membership uh, takes part in the dissertation uh, 
a council meeting, uh, but not, not fewer than four people. Our gestation council consists of five people, uh, uh, five uh, 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 we have uh, the quorum, and uh, please, members of this station council, uh, let me drop uh, some parts uh, of the station um, regulations, the sequential regulations, because I already read uh, it's the uh, last time. So, do you agree uh, to this? Uh, no, no objections. Uh, no. Do you have any objections? No objection. Then uh, we'll start directly uh, the um, uh, going through the agenda, and please. Uh, so therefore, uh, the first uh, item. Well, our defendant uh, also already um, read uh, his presentations on Monday, therefore we'll skip that as well. Do you agree with that? Uh, yes, we do. Theref well, we have to answer one question that uh, we received through, uh, through uh, an electronic mail uh, by, from Pavel Borisenko, uh, uh, which uh, reads. Pavel Igorish Borisen, uh, senior lecturer in, from Grodno uh, State University. Um, what do you think are the most pertinent economic risks uh, for the state um, in the condition of the active role of transnational companies and uh, uh, large uh, corporations? And well, I'd like to say here that the risks, uh, the more, the bigger the company, the m the the more the share, the bigger the share of it uh, in e in the economy. Well, uh, Apple, for example, according to the poll so of the of the current uh, presidential administration, well, Apple. Uh, is resisting um, uh, the sale of uh, microprocessors uh, and uh, well the uh, the the uh, the, pre uh, the administration of uh, the United States uh, um, prevents uh, Apple from uh, selling their uh, microprocessors uh, and other equipment uh, the Apple corporation of course doesn't like it well, but another example, uh, the Russian corporation Gazprom, uh, when uh, uh, external sanctions are imposed, uh, there's uh, pressure on the economy. Then, uh, then uh, the uh, the pressure on Gazprom will be larger and therefore the pressure on the economy will be larger and much uh, much serious risks than with the Apple Corporation. Then um, we have um, uh, members of the station council uh, with their reviews uh, and uh, the defendant uh, answering these um, uh, questions and comments. I would like to state what uh, what is the procedure more favorable to you? Would you like to answer uh, comments and criticism after each? Yes, or all together at the end? No, I would like to take them in turn. Okay. Since all the reviews of the station council members have been published on the website, Therefore, I would like you to um, mention only the key points uh, and especially critical remarks. Well, no, have any objections. Um, therefore, I would like to start with um, with the uh, the absent member of the station, Record Sophia Igorovna. I would like to read her review. And according to our decision, uh, I will just uh, read out uh, only um, 
only the critical parts of her review. The, and the Distinction Council rounded um, research and together with uh, its pluses, uh, there are some criticisms that you can leave on it. Uh, first on the page 61, uh, it says that together with the European Union, Germany tries to uh, conclude a transatlantic, transatlantic uh, trade and investment partnership with the USA. This is a very controversial uh, topic, if, uh, especially uh, at this present moment for the, United, for the European Union, uh, uh, it was always a very sensitive issue, especially uh, uh, the uh, policy of the United States uh, by buying European companies, uh, and therefore uh, the, the negotiations were stopped uh, in 2016. Then in April 2019, the European Council uh, 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 took a decision, uh, made a decision uh, that um, uh, put the previous directives. Uh, it, uh, that um, related to this partnership uh, uh, void and null. And the second one is that the, the author of the station um, supports the point of view that uh, the corporations uh, play a key role in uh, developing the process of uh, management, of uh, decision making uh, process um, uh, that are used by uh, governments uh, uh, as uh, ready made uh, mechanisms, uh, both in uh, internal and internal po external policy. And uh, unfortunately, there are no examples that would uh, support this uh, uh, statement. Um, this, uh, that's page uh, 784. Uh, another one is that um, the, uh, one of the uh, goals of the station, uh, the station is to uh, identify the, um, the uh, degree of uh, impact um, of the uh, uh, interaction between the state and corporations on the formation and the realization of uh, 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 foreign policy of a country, especially foreign economic policy. And therefore, um, uh, it's, uh, uh, it means that uh, there should be some metrics used, uh, some uh, qualitative, uh, uh, qualitative indicators um, well, uh, unfortunately, um, we don't see that clarified. Uh, then uh, the next one is the process of the analysis of, uh, uh, of different inter uh, interaction modes uh, between the state and corporations uh, uh, with the case studies of different countries, um, uh, especially in, uh, in participating uh, of the state in the sh in the shares of the co uh, companies, um, uh, joint stock companies, um, and therefore um, uh, this was uh, very uh, true for Russia. But uh, unfortunately, a very good example was overlooked as the, the example of uh, China because it's uh, because uh, uh, the Chinese government is uh, growing its own state corporations, uh, uh, national champions um, that would be uh, uh, then uh, instrumental for the uh, pro uh, for the Chinese government to uh, pursue its policy and international economic and infrastructural expansion. Uh, in um, in supplement one, uh, uh, the author provides a, a major topic, a major spheres of uh, uh, foreign policy by country, but unfortunately um, so the goals uh, sometimes uh, encompass uh, incompatible uh, areas um, and, uh, the, and also uh, not very well discussed. Um, uh, on the whole, uh, the dissertation um, on the topic international, in the interaction cooperation of the state and the rel in the diplomatic international policy and the fresh uh, foreign economic policy uh, area uh, meets all the uh, necessary requirements uh, of St. Petersburg University, and therefore uh, Roman Andreevich Slobodan uh, deserves uh, to be awarded an academic degree of candidate of uh, sciences uh, 
in the specialism political problems of international relations, global and regional development. I would like to uh, say um, the first one uh, has to do with the um, the, the uh, e EU and Germany, um, the uh, trying to um, forge an agreement transatlantic thing with the U.S. Um, well, I would like to. Um, I uh, agree with Sophie Igorovna is that uh, the relevance of this uh, agreement uh, is now minimal. Um, it uh, was uh, pertinent at the time of writing meditation, but uh, now it's not. The current uh, agenda has changed um, in the international policy, but the, the uh, probability is still there. Um, and uh, the main lobbies um, in uh, this area uh, include uh, trash national corporations, uh, and actually that's what I said in my paper. The second one, the, the states um, use uh, decisions that are developed by by corporations as ready-made instruments um, we this uh, uh, statement is, should be taken into a context as well for example if we take uh, the first uh, etalon uh, as an example a construction company the um, the their decisions and the instruments uh, that have been developed by these corporations are implemented at the regional and federal levels uh, by the Ministry of uh, Construction of the, the Russian Federation, and these standards are used by the states uh, as uh, ready-made instruments. Uh, in uh, its domestic policy. As far as the foreign policy is concerned, uh, we can talk about uh, U.S. policy on appointing uh, uh, for government uh, positions uh, um, people from uh, private corporations uh, who then um, implement uh, their uh, decisions that they developed uh, in their corporations uh, at the um, federal level. Well, this is a in indirect, um, uh, of course, evidence, but, um, but some mechanisms that, uh, uh, that uh, they have brought to government uh, uh, are very effective, um, and therefore, um, in, in uh, most uh, areas of international uh, uh, foreign policy, um, uh, these um, deci uh, decision-making processes uh, exist. Then uh, the state role of the corporations play a key role in the development. And uh, about the metrics, uh, I used uh, some indicators that I took from uh, the base uh, of the, uh, the government uh, of the Russian Federation uh, for the foreign economic uh, security of the Russian Federation. I took some uh, indicators that uh, have to do with uh, the interaction between the state and corporations, um, and then I subdivided them, and um, so I did use them. As far as the um, uh, the, um, there was a question on, about um, the U.S. Um, about um, the U.S. Uh, government uh, policy on uh, uh, stopping um, stopping uh, the import of uh, Chinese-made or Taiwan-made uh, um, parts uh, uh, of the electronics um, industry. And the apple is suffering, of course. Uh, we, 
uh, we can uh, see the in foreign in the domestic portion is the Amazon company in effect uh, took uh, a monopoly uh, position um, in uh, importing goods um, into the United States and actually uh, upseated um, uh, the U.S. postal system and therefore uh, most companies uh, uh, and, and therefore, the government had to take a decision uh, how to return this situation to the previous um, um, so, uh, to the previous uh, scheme and help uh, the U.S. postal system. Corporations Ashan and McDonald's; these are foreign corporations that uh, operate in the Russian Federation. We can see here that. Uh, during the pandemic uh, lockdown period, when uh, m most uh, eateries uh, were closed, uh, McDonald's and uh, uh, were allowed to work uh, 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 under uh, a special decision of the government, although, of course, no seated places, but uh, they were still open and operational. The, the, uh, because this, corpora this corporation um, uh, has a lot of staff and uh, it, to avoid political uh, uh, the repercussions of laying off uh, so many staff, uh, the government allowed them to work. As far as the, uh, the break, uh, breakdown uh, of countries uh, in terms of uh, uh, the state um, uh, buying shares uh, in uh, corporations um, and, uh, and the Chinese is growing state corporations. Um, yeah, China is a very interesting uh, case. Um, it has uh, mega corporations, uh, uh, state corporations uh, since uh, I, n I never touched upon uh, the Chinese experience in my dissertation, the, uh, but this area I acknowledge is very interesting for further research and uh, and the Chinese experience, Chinese experience on uh, growing um, uh, state corporations uh, can be, of course, uh, taken up by Russian corporations and the Russian government. As far as the the effectiveness of state corporations, uh, there's a, an opinion that state corporations are less effective than uh, private corporations. Uh, I um, show that um, many state corporations uh, are more info uh, uh, effective, uh, efficient than uh, state uh, than uh, non-state corporations. The, and of course, state corporations uh, should uh, work in the area of uh, state interests, um, and uh, such uh, state corporations uh, are an instrument uh, of uh, foreign policy, of national foreign policy. The next question is about the the goals uh, and the uh, that are as a, as uh, they are reflected in the table and the supplement. Well, I put I set um, uh, different goals uh, by country uh, and put them into d three different groups. Uh, uh, Na uh, national, uh, internal, external, and uh, external economic. Um, every country has over a hundred uh, goals, uh, and therefore I uh, identified identified um, the most important ones. Uh, for example, uh, Germany. I put uh, one of the key goals uh, is to uh, to increase its role in the Arctic, and, but uh, I didn't take, uh, I didn't show Russia's uh, goal in, in the same area. Well, I should have not uh, done that. Um, 
because uh, German, uh, Germany uh, is trying to uh, uh, manage uh, the, um, the other actors um, technologically, and um, Russian, uh, uh, Russia's goal is to uh, <coughs> protect its positions there. Um, the American goals uh, are different, uh, still different. Uh, and I was trying to show that uh, different countries uh, have uh, different goals and uh, the scale of these goals uh, and their practices uh, are different. Thank you very much. Then the next uh, member of the station council, Galina Grybanova. Galina, if I can uh, please turn on your microphone. Dear colleagues, first of all, I'd like to say I'm, I'm very happy to see uh, we miss each other's company. And uh, thank you for inviting me to be a member of the station on a very dis interesting topic. I would like to say that the station uh, of Roman Andreevich uh, has made a very good expression, impression on me. And I have no doubts uh, that uh, I endorse it. But uh, as far as the uh, politi political science, uh, uh, perspective. Uh, I would like to uh, draw your attention to some uh, issues uh, uh, that would uh, help uh, the young researcher in the future. And I hope that uh, he will continue his research. So, some comments, uh, discussion comments. Uh, the uh, the uh, author advocates systemic uh, approach. Uh, this is a very uh, commonplace uh, uh, statement uh, that doesn't reflect uh, what uh, the instruments that are used in the dissertation. Uh, you can see that uh, he used uh, game theory and uh, rational choice um, approaches. As far as the um, the dissertation, as far as because we deal with the political science dissertation, I would like to draw your attention to a new uh, institutional approach, especially uh, in terms of the uh, business impact on the government. As far as the uh, the res the sources. Uh, I would like to draw your attention. Uh, I don't drunk to draw the attention of the author to uh, some uh, recent dissertations have been uh, uh, defended, and um, especially by this university staff. Well, we see a lot of sources. Uh, different approaches are reviewed, but uh, when we see different theories uh, uh, is an analysis of different theories but unfortunately we don't have a clear-cut uh, um, position of the author that uh, he sides with this or that author uh, there's no interpretation as such The first paragraph of chapter one, um, uh, uh, corporation as a political actor. So what is a corporation? Uh, unfortunately, th there's no typology of corporations. G is there a difference between a corporation and a transnational corporation? This is a terminological um, uh, laxity, be and that uh, generates a lot of uh, issues uh, because um, uh, the we cannot see what are the special features of the transnational corporations, and um, 
and what instruments uh, are accessible to them in pursuing their influence. And, uh, there are also a lot of generation generalizations uh, on the interaction between the state and uh, government. Fortunately, there are no concrete examples uh, that would support these generalizations. Uh, there's another point about the democratization of, uh, pro of ownership. This is a very um, controversial issue, especially uh, if we take in, into account uh, China, because um, this, uh, this is not determined just by the, uh, the shares uh, uh, of uh, different um, owners. But uh, Roman Andreevich uh, uh, can uh, develop this uh, in in uh, her future work uh, once uh, he has become uh, a candidate of political sciences. Then another thing is uh, is the um, review of uh, foreign uh, foreign policy uh, government. Uh, uh, documents, uh, especially, for example, if we talk about India, for example, and their interaction and cooperation with Indonesia and other countries, how can we, how can we uh, identify the role of uh, of large corporations uh, in this uh, policy? It's not clear. Well, there's some um, how. Well, uh, th uh, this begs a, a question: uh, How far can we uh, uh, can we take uh, the the increase of investment into another country's uh, economy by cooperation uh, increases its um, uh, influence? Um, um, and the last one. Um, very insignificant, maybe, uh, is, uh, is the um, is the stylistic, uh, the formatic, uh, formatting um, uh, uh, drawback uh, of um, of uh, putting together the. Uh, uh, the sources in a list, uh, and um, this is a formal, formal uh, criterion. But it would uh, stop uh, the defense or stop the defendant from receiving a sort degree just for these formal reasons, because the regulations at St. Petersburg Invest are quite strict on this account. But uh, the dissertation. Uh, I would like to make a conclusion that dissertation meets uh, all the requirements of St. Petersburg University and the, and, uh, the um, author of the station, Roman Andreevich Slobodan, deserves uh, being, uh, being awarded as the third degree of candidate of political science. Thank you. Galin second, please. Um, Thank you very much, Galina Isakovna, for these very conceptual uh, comments. I would like to make some um, clarifications. As far as the systemic uh, approach uh, and the number of general um, approaches, uh, the game theory and so on, game theory and rational choice theory, Indeed, in paragraph 1.2 of the first chapter, in the part of the study of the problem of social contract, the main provisions of game theory are used, which most actually reveal this problem. The semantics of the network approach is mentioned in the context of considering the concept of structural power, a term introduced by, into circulation by, by strange. Um, the significance of the network approach in the study of structural power is indicated. Also, the network approach can be traced in the text of the EU Global Strategy 2016, where Germany seeks to set an example of global governance and to shape the agenda, acting as a liaison 
coordinator and mediator within the network of players. Well, impo very important uh, comment is about the neo-institutional approach. The neo-institutional approach is one of the most uh, suitable for research, the choice in favor of the systems approach and the approaches of the main schools of international political economy was made for the following reasons. The, the first reason, uh, the neo-institutional approach was used as one of the main ones in writing the master, my master's thesis, is de uh, thesis, development of methods to improve the efficiency of the embassies of the Russian Federation in attracting investment and supporting national exports which served as the basis for this study and later became a qualitative addition to it. And therefore, uh, I would like to, I, I didn't want um, uh, to repeat it. Um, and second question, um, as far as the interpretation of the uh, international regime uh, ter uh, concept, I uh, agree with the, the researchers uh, uh, as a, an evolving term. In general, the, I agree with the definitions uh, of international regime previously presented by Krasner, Cohen, and Young. As far as, as the analysis, uh, and of the role of the state and corporations in the formation of the regime. Um, there are some examples. Uh, for example, the COVID, uh, COVID problem, several countries developing a vaccine. WHO is the main regime in developing solutions for the global response to the pandemic. At the same time, Today, we see not cooperation, but a kind of international race in the development of a, a vaccine. Uh, we can see that the United States announced that after the development of the vaccine, it would withdraw with w, from the, uh, the WHO. And therefore, uh, w there should be a new regime uh, to solve this particular problem. It is uh, not worth to, see, to say that that the development of the vaccine in the States is mainly carried out by private pro corporations, Moderna, Pfizer, while in the Russian phase the vaccine is created on the basis of a pub public-private partnership, for example, the Gamalea Research and the Systema Corporation. Moderna and Pfizer Moderna science uh, agreements with uh, other countries um, to uh, ship uh, such ma ma vaccines uh, and therefore um, for the supply of vaccines uh, and not the government of the United States. It is therefore a uh, different uh, approach. Uh, the Russian Federation uh, opens up uh, uh, production facilities of the vaccine uh, in other countries. Uh, Whereas um, the United States uh, is more interested in controlling the uh, the distribution and the uh, spread of the vaccine, therefore the different uh, approaches, um, and there should be an international regime to to um, to uh, put them at harmony, and therefore. Um, on the one hand, the regime will ensure equ uh, equitable uh, distribution of the vaccine across countries at an acceptable cost. On the other hand, it will provide a guarantee of compliance with contractual obligations of manufacturing corporations, maximizing profit. There are um, profit. There are first steps to create one of the regimes. For example, France, Germany, Italy, and the, and the Netherlands have created a special alliance to solve the COVID problem in the EU. We also see the formation of a new global regime in the field of crypt cryptocurrencies, where the main role is still played by private comp capital and the state. Uh, uh, well, the governments uh, are still uh, on the responding end uh, to the new phenomenon. 
Therefore, uh, the state doesn't control this process. And, um, but they try to regulate it uh, in terms of uh, legal means, instruments. Roman Andreevich, unfortunately, we have to... Nikolai Muratovich, uh, unfortunately, is not alive. Well, he's back, uh, then we continue. Yes, please continue. I agree with the third uh, comments that the key characters of cooperation as political actors are not clearly articulated or scattered throughout the work. What are the characteristics uh, of uh, cooperation TN TNCs uh, as actors in domestic international policy? It should be noted that the definition of the term cooperation as the study is presented rather vaguely. A number of synonyms are you also used in trash national corporations, financial industrial groups, large corporations, private capital companies. This omission did not remain outside the field of research. So in the dissertation, the term corporation and its synonyms mean the definition of TC presented in the, the UN normative documents. Well, unfortunately, uh, TNC is not a term in the legal system of the Russian Federation. Therefore, I use the, a more general term, corporation, uh, under which uh, a large company uh, is uh, implied on also a TNC. Rajesh Experts, for example, has uh, only 300 uh, staff but uh, it has a um, fifth or sixth in uh, terms of uh, um, uh, in terms of uh, how uh, the influence um, you know financial and so on well anyway i follow un uh, uh, definitions uh, a corporation has uh, a, uh, affiliates, uh, affiliations or representation to or more countries regarded of the legal um, form of ownership and the field of activity, operating within the framework of decision making that allows for a coordinated policy and the implementation of common strategy from one or more governance centers. The next question is that. Um, And, uh, what resources uh, besides financial are, cap financial are capable of converting into political influence? This and the following questions are addressed in the study, but are indeed stretched throughout the world. In, order to, in, in addition to financial resource, corporations are capable of converting social, informational, uh, you know, inf communication, innovation to uh, uh, and managerial and other types of resources into political capital. Well, you, c you see, uh, for example, innovation technological uh, assets of the corporations or intellectual capitals, uh, managerial ca uh, uh, management potential they're all uh, capable of being converted into political capital. Corporations uh, can use uh, a wide range of tools, ranging from participation in various, in various negotiation formats and uh, to uh, the financing or participation in organizing the activities of social, social and political movements and parties. Um, wide quite a wide range of uh, participatory, participatory, participatory mechanisms. For example, they can finance uh, different uh, funds, uh, endowments, etc. fund funds. Uh, well, uh, as far as the um, the examples of uh, corporations uh, interacting with uh, state institutions. Uh, I would like to mention these examples. First, an, an example of the influence of a corporation on the state within the framework of a political regime. 
a way we can take uh, legal decisions against uh, states or uh, a, a pre-trial uh, um, settlement, for example, uh, in, uh, as part of the NAFTA agreement. Uh, now it's UASMCA agreement, for example, Metal Card versus Mexi Mexico or ETIL versus Canada. ITIL uh, uh, won and Metal Card as well and um, also v uh, US penalties against uh, Volkswagen diesel scandal which uh, which uh, German uh, Germany uh, won, and um, then there's uh, also uh, the examples of influence of cooperation uh, on n one state on another state. For example, there was a, a military confrontation between the LPR and the DPR with Ukraine. In a certain phase of aggravation of current, there was a high probability of expanding the ge for geography of military operations into the deep, uh, territory of Ukraine. So, uh, with Volkswagen. I'm oh, sorry, this is uh, the Volkswagen. Uh, um, yes, the. the 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 Donetsk uh, People's Republic and um, Luhansk uh, People's Republic. In the certain phase of the aggravation of the conflict, there was a high probability of expanding the chair for military operations deep into the territory of Ukraine, Metro Petrovsk, Zaporozhye, Kharkov regions. The regional economic elite, the main one being uh, uh, by oligarch Kolomoisky, one of their largest bank in the Ukraine, private bank, private bank, former the private military unit, which played a key role in the non-proliferation of military operation deep into the territory. First of all, it, they defended um, their assets, uh, but uh, also they uh, prevented um, the proliferation of the conflicts deeper into the Ukraine. And uh, uh, so there was a clear example of the um, private money's um, um, influence on um, international conflict. The another example of Rusal uh, versus EN plus. You, uh, there's. Um, uh, the structure of ownership uh, was uh, changed. U.S. Uh, and British citizens uh, became uh, uh, the majority of uh, of the uh, governing body of this company, and um, and then uh, the governance. Uh, was ceded to uh, uh, the f two foreign governments, uh, and therefore uh, Norris Nickel um, uh, uh, gave up uh, control over Rusal. So therefore, international capital, capital um, entered uh, the uh, the uh, Rusal. Uh, or Norisk Nickel via Rusal um, uh, capital assets. Oh, I th as far as the democratization of property or ownership influences the level of democratization of power. Indeed, the issue is complex and debatable. This is why in the study I clarified, presumably, that I. Um, the smaller, I will show you this uh, uh, this table. This is a comparative study. The, this is uh, where the percentage um, 
proportion between uh, the number of owners of uh, large business uh, to the um, number of, uh, to the um, population size in percent uh, the in the USA Germany India and Russia I um, I compared it with the political regimes there's um, dependence of the auto autocracy autocracy um, now autocracy uh, in the in Russia uh, 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 indicates uh, that well uh, leads to the uh, the um, reduction of the number of uh, owners uh, of large corporations um, of the stocks um, uh, they're mostly owned by large players and um, the USA is the opposite so the German is up now regarding the first then as far as the uh, some uh, uh, foreign economic uh, uh, goals can of the state may coincide with the specifics of the activities of their corporations for example one of the russian foreign policy goals is the development of an equal dialogue with consumer and transit countries of energy resources we see that local and Gazprom and NEFT um, um, have the same goals. We also we can see the dependence uh, of the more global foreign policy goals are, uh, are formulated by the states and the study. The more weight and position national cooperation occupied in the world economic system. Regarding India, for example, um, uh, oh, it seems difficult to fix the role of national cooperation achieving certain state uh, foreign policy goals, um, uh, for example, uh, to reach a new level of strategic dialogue and partnership with Indonesia and Vietnam. But the role of Indian cooperation can be identified and recorded in the foreign policy uh, pursued in these countries. Uh, still, to do this, it's necessary to conduct an additional study of the documents of the relevant ministries and departments to analyze the actions and statements of uh, the participants um, of this uh, process um, between India uh, and the interaction between India, Indonesia, and Vietnam. Yep. As far as the list of literature, I totally agree. I'll, I try to um, to uh, adhere to the ghost uh, regulations uh, but sometimes I guess uh, uh, I guess I follow some uh, some other um, uh, published research and um, and therefore I um, stepped away from ghost regulations which was a mistake and the next um, speaker is Mizevich uh, Nikolai Valerievich Nikolai Mikhailovich, sorry. One moment. Dear colleagues, let me be very short uh, in terms of the relevance of the discussion because uh, it's very obvious both in the professional community, by the in the expert content and media community, uh, the, sta the interaction of the state and corporations, uh, and uh, looking for the winners and losers um, is a quite relevant issue. And therefore, to when I uh, studied uh, the research, uh, I was uh, initially very positive because the, I, I uh, looked at the topic and thought it was very relevant. And uh, in, uh, in the um, commending part of the, of the review, 
I also mentioned following my colleagues uh, that that uh, this uh, well-rounded uh, research uh, work, uh, the analysis is there, uh, uh, encompassing uh, research, liter research literature and uh, legal documents. Uh, I also touched upon in my review some uh, originality issues, uh, four points of originality the theoretical and the theoretical uh, significance is uh, totally there as far as the as far as the criticisms are concerned i would like for some technical technical reasons i need to make a pause for a minute a uh, technical just one minute. Technical break is announced, please. Dear colleagues, I would like to d uh, return to the discussion of my review. The technical break is over, and we continue our distinction council meeting. Please, Nikolai Marovich, please. Dear colleagues, the main um, issue for me is uh, that uh, the, the the, the advantages of the work um, actually lead to some um, drawbacks. A geographical uh, scope uh, is uh, redundant and uh, made the structure of the work uh, a bit uh, too uh, weighty. And um, this kind of distinction uh, leans towards uh, becoming a doctor's dis do doctoral dissertation. The practical um, significance of the station is also obvious, uh, but uh, the, this is the has is uh, broad brush brushes. Uh, um, and uh, by broad brushes because of the geographical spread. The next uh, point is that in the par second paragraph, uh, uh, the author uh, overestimates uh, the leading uh, players of uh, belonging to the national business community in the world, po uh, in the global policy, in uh, world politics. Uh, the states uh, do not give up, really. They regroup and um, counterattack. But uh, all my comments are uh, don't diminish uh, uh, the positive uh, evaluation of the dissertation and the dissertation of uh, Roman Andreevich Slobodan um, on the international of. Uh, corporations and the state uh, uh, com completely um, meets the requirements of the uh, of St. Petersburg University on awarding 
uh, academic degrees. Ramana Javish, please, uh, your answers. Thank you very much. Uh, well, f uh, this big geographic state, uh, uh, yes, it's a bit um, uh, too much. Uh, yeah. Well, I took four countries, uh, maybe um, maybe two countries could be enough, uh, for example, Russia, Germany, Russia, China. But the overall picture would not be such a complete picture, and some conclusions might n also have been missed, for example, regarding the need to focus on the efforts of cooperation of the state or on improving the well-being of their population. In, t uh, in order to facilitate the structure of the study, the paper provides an analysis of the 40 largest corporations. Um, as far as the practical significance, uh, the work is characterized by broad strokes. I agree with this, that it is necessary to, to be more clear uh, in characterizing, uh, characterizing and the practical significance um, of the work um, and propose a system of recommendations for the authorities. Um, I would like to note that the author has a quite realize, a realizable idea of creating an applied system of, for increasing the efficiency of such interactions. As far as the reassessment of the role of the leading players in, in international business uh, uh, and world politics, there's a tendency to increase the role of corporations in international economic and political systems to a lesser extent. This point of view is really reflected in the theoretical part of the study. Uh, I uh, adhere to the position that the interaction between state and corporations should be considered in order to increase the efficiency of promoting and protecting national interests. Yes, do you agree? Uh, do you, I satisfied with the answers? Yes. Um, then the next, um, uh, uh, Vitaly Vladimirovich Kozlovsky, dear members of the Academic Council, uh, uh, my uh, just uh, um, the relevance is absolutely uh, obvious. Uh, uh, the conclusions are valid. My, my um, uh, critical comments uh, uh, have already been voiced because um, I am the last one to read my re uh, review. Well, I will just say that uh, uh, there is a bibliographical base, um, uh, but uh, there are very few Indian uh, sources, and this is the third economy in the world, um, and uh, this is an oversight. Um, the second one uh, is that uh, the author uh, misused the term corporation because uh, it, um, it includes uh, the financial, industrial groups, etc. And the third one is the English version of the of Table Four. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the name uh, is not translated from Russian. And um, this is page 60 of the English version. Mm, nevertheless, um, uh, these critical remarks don't diminish the overall positive impression of the dissertation, and uh, Roman Andreevich deserves the, uh, the third degree. Roman Andreevich, please. Thank you very much, Vitaly Vladimirovich, for uh, your comments. Unfortunately, there's, there's a scarce, scarcity of works of, of Indian authors. Well, this may, uh, why the citation of Indian authors is the smallest because it does, uh, unfortunately, to work with uh, the political part of the study, the annual uh, reports of Indian corporations, the main documents we set out, the goals of Indian foreign council, uh, I thought were sufficient, uh, but uh, unfortunately, um, uh, the uh, uh, most uh, reviews of the work of uh, Indian companies uh, are actually uh, published by American and European uh, scholars. Therefore, I cited them. 
As far as the essence of the term, the definition of the term corporation, uh, that is, n the, is not correct. Um, well, I already answered this question um, uh, when I, um, mm, uh, I use synonyms, uh, but uh, I follow UN um, definitions, the UN definitions. As far as the, uh, the Russian uh, name of the table, um, uh, that, uh, you know, it states in the English version of the, the station, yes. Well, yes, uh, I satisfied with the answer. Dear colleagues, uh, now I would like to uh, read my own review. What uh, we heard um, uh, actually are reflected, uh, what we heard is reflected in my review. I will side with my colleagues' opinions uh, that uh, this station has left a very positive impression. Uh, and I was very happy to see this irrelevant topic. I'm a political scientist in political uh, science. Um, um, there's, um, there's a gap in the study of uh, the role of trash national corporations uh, on uh, global policies and um, global uh, world politics. And um, well, this maybe has to do with the status of this uh, uh, transnational corporation. Um, and um, therefore, the regionality is there, and the relevance is there. I support the topic, uh, and especially this topic uh, is very relevant uh, to uh, uh, hybrid and uh, other mechanisms of interaction, uh, global governance uh, between countries, etc. I would like to uh, concentrate on my uh, critical remarks. Well, they are more of a technical nature. The first one. Well, 90% of the is the formulation of the topic. I um, and uh, it, it has uh, basically three goals, uh, not one. The main the the topic uh, should be uh, formulated uh, in a very concrete way. Well, and I don't see this concreteness in your um, topic. And the third part of the um, uh, of your dis uh, dissertation goal uh, uh, is basically basically that um, and also systemization of. Uh, of uh, uh, results, uh, well, this this the topic should be the goal should be one, and and here we have uh, 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 tasks within the goal, also in the goal. Also, one of the uh, also you in the introduction, uh, there are no uh, ju there's no justification why the USA, Germany, and India, and Russia are chosen um, as an object of study. And the, sec the next uh, critical remark, uh, uh, I, cite you, I quote you, the analysis uh, uh, allows us not only to uh, confirm, but also uh, clarify some hypotheses uh, which uh, were um, previously uh, put forward uh, in relation to the uh, specific uh, features of the interaction of the state and financial uh, industrial uh, structures uh, in foreign policy. Uh, which hypothesis do you mean? Uh, th there's nothing about it in the text. On page 13, um, the author um, cites some, uh, refers to some methods uh, uh, including uh, comparative analysis, uh, 
but some of the methods um, are quite controversial. What, what is an analytical approach? What is this? And the next one is a very strange uh, formulation that in the first paragraph uh, of the first chapter, you don't um, give uh, a definition to the uh, to the key concept of the of the work corporation and transnational corporation international corporation um, no criteria given uh, uh, that could uh, uh, put uh, one or another company uh, uh, into one uh, or another category and uh, or to uh, refer to it as a TN TNC and especially uh, its status uh, in the international law. Um, the next point is that, um, of course, uh, Bri uh, author's recommendations uh, could be a great uh, uh, contribution uh, to the work uh, because, uh, obviously, governments need uh, expertise um, uh, in terms of uh, uh, seeing different uh, scenarios of uh, possible transforma transformation of the role of TNCs uh, in, in world politics, uh, and especially um, uh, in the age of COVID-19. Well, uh, you should uh, voice your own understanding of the situation. As a specialist, uh, what uh, mechanisms could uh, uh, be applied uh, to improve the situation. The dissertation is very informative, but uh, there's no, um, uh, there's a lack of creative uh, element there. Nevertheless, um, the criticisms uh, do not diminish uh, the overall a impression of the dissertation, and they're more of a technical character, and therefore I state that um, uh, the dissertation, uh, the international interaction of corporations and the state uh, in the implementation of international policies uh, in the area of uh, foreign economic policy um, uh, complies with uh, all the uh, requirements of St. Petersburg University and the author of the dissertation, Roman Andreevich Slobodan, is entitled to uh, to the sort degree of candidate of uh, political sciences. Do uh, members of the station, are you satisfied with all the answers? Well, sorry, your, your answers, please. Uh, please uh, answer my comments. Thank you very much. I'll be very short. Well, unfortunately, the formulation um, is truly uh, too wide. Well, the systematization, the uh, reference to systematization should be excluded. Well, in terms of the cases, I um, provided justification of uh, why I took these countries as cases. Uh, I put the justification into the um, uh, into introduction to the, big, uh, to the practical part, and it was uh, misplaced. True. Well, as far as the, the works of young uh, scholars, um, first uh, work by Kissel. He wrote uh, uh, a study of business structures and um, co companies and uh, um, and uh, government bodies. So he said that um, uh, the most effective way of it, such interaction is through business unification. I put, uh, I argued with it. Uh, I said that um, a network approach uh, is more effective uh, by um, 
making networks uh, with this, the government uh, on different issues. Um, then Pantelev's work, political dimension of uh, of the competitiveness of the Russian Federation in the globalizing world. Uh, it's stated that uh, that Russia can. Uh, can uh, achieve much more if they modernize, uh, if it's modern, it modernizes its political institutions. But I, I think that uh, the main thing here, uh, well, the uh, one of the main things here is this, uh, the uh, the focus on the um, in the improving the uh, of the living standards of the population of the country. The systemic pro uh, approach um, is based on um, on some based on the study of some restrictions uh, that are placed on national policies. Uh, each national policies of governments uh, uh, by international uh, super in uh, supranational institutions um, and agreements. This approach uh, was first uh, described uh, by Kristilov. Well, you should have uh, made uh, this more concrete. Well, it, it was it was just uh, it looked like it was taken out of context. Yeah, no, well, easy to add. Uh, I will. Corporations, yes, uh, the definitions, yeah, you touched upon. As far as my recommendations, uh, if my work uh, were uh, were uh, to use a neo-institutional approach, uh, then I would certainly include uh, concrete recommendations. But um, I have a broad uh, uh, Broad uh, focus. Um, we, I can uh, give uh, some broad recommendations too. And um, the first one is to uh, to to focus on on the economic um, economic indicators of uh, of the security. Uh, international uh, in during international activities, um, uh, so that um, uh, that uh, f external actors uh, would not uh, um, uh, would not interfere effectively with the work of the companies, um, and um, as far as the. And then the second one is to increase the inter the internal um, the internal um, sales um, within the countries, and therefore uh, increase the um, capitalization of uh, companies. And that's the approach uh, uh, used by the United States. Um, by uh, you know they build up their companies by. Um, by increasing uh, the uh, the consumption of its products um, within the country, as far as the the, the uh, and then there's also a lack of a good communication, uh, national uh, foreign activities uh, are not well presented, and there's uh, you know. The, uh, there are some sectors that uh, are well known, uh, the products of which are well known, uh, nuclear energy um, and uh, other energy, um, uh, but uh, not um, uh, not others. Uh, as far as the COVID uh, situation, the, there's a general scenario that. Uh, that the corporations will will increase will try to increase their legal status um, 
international in the international arena and um, also they will they will try to create uh, more influential uh, cor uh, associations of corporations and then um, setting up uh, hybrid uh, uh, types of um, interaction and with different actors um, and uh, these uh, these hybrid uh, interactions will will uh, be growing in significance uh, in the world as far as the regionalization i think that there will be some private uh, corporate uh, areas in in some uh, countries uh, that are weaker uh, economically uh, then uh, technological breakthroughs uh, or, or leaps uh, should be uh, accounted for Corp some corporations uh, corporations are more uh, competitive than the, this than the governments um, uh, in terms of uh, developing technology thank you very much dear colleagues uh, then I would like to to then uh, continue our agenda do we have any people in the in the uh, room who would like to speak up the next point then uh, there's no there no one willing to speak up then do we have any questions no questions um, therefore the next the next point is the um a short review by the um, uh, the dissertation council uh, academic advisor dear chairperson dear members of the station council a lot has been said about the topic of the dissertation and uh, context have, has been discussed Ju uh, just a few words about the the person I've known Roman for six years, uh, over six years. First as a master's degree student, uh, then a doctoral student. Since the beginning um, of the work of the of the uh, on working on the dissertation, he indicated his interest in the theory of um, uh, international relations, uh, political economy. And um, and uh, the niche as uh, the diplomatic theory and the the practice of uh, the um, diplomacy of business and the, in terms of uh, the international st status of corporations, uh, um, this is. Uh, at the end of the 20th century, st uh, st stated market, um, uh, the researcher uh, uh, st stated that uh, the act, the corporations uh, should not be on, not only looked at uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, not only in um, in its influence in the political life of a political country, but uh, but also you should look at their interaction with uh, governments um, uh, on a, a partnership level and uh, also between themselves um, and uh, and then uh, in terms of the these new theories of the diplomacy of business uh, um, it, the, uh, this has been applied uh, very effectively in the dissertation as 
uh, as a research advisor, academic advisor, I am totally uh, satisfied with uh, with our partnership, uh, and I hope that uh, when I I consider Roman uh, as um, as an established young researcher. Well, do we have uh, any? Um, I'm asking members of the Distation Council or the uh, the the uh, the defendant um, uh, have any unanswered questions uh, or objections. Then no. Then, uh, dear colleagues, uh, we have the opportunity before we before we vote. Uh, we can. Uh, um, announce a break uh, to discuss uh, no we don't need uh, this break therefore if the um, uh, special deliberation uh, is not needed uh, then we can proceed to uh, to the voting uh, to to voting can we all see each other yes can we hear each other? Yes, we can. Therefore, I'd like to I'd like check to check uh, that the broadcast uh, is there and uh, everything is working because uh, a decisive part of the, um, of the session uh, is uh, now c approaching uh, and therefore I would like to say that um, uh, uh, I'm uh, putting to the vote uh, the resolution to uh, confer on Roman Andreevich Slobodan an academic degree of candidate of political sciences in the academic specialist, specialism uh, 23.0004 political problems of international relations, uh, political issues of international, global and regional uh, Galina Isakovna, how do you vote? I am in favor of uh, awarding the degree of uh, of uh, the candidate of police to Roman Andreevich Slobodan. Nikolai Malaz, Vitaly Vladimirovich, I am for it, uh, and I am in favor of. Uh, uh, the um, awarding of the degree, and I also, um, Maria Lvovna Lagutina, agree with the uh, resolution to award the sword degree. Therefore, I would like to state that out of the four uh, voting members of the decision council, four voted in favor of the resolution. Uh, n no nays and no abstentions uh, uh, for the decision of uh, of the decision council to award to Roman Andreevich Slobodan an academic degree of candidate of political sciences uh, in political issues of uh, international race and global and regional uh, development. Members of the decision council or the uh, candidate, uh, do you have any questions on the procedure? Please, uh, sir. Any objections, Galina Sakovna? No objections. Nikolai Maratovich, no objections. Vitaly Vladimirovich, uh, no objections, no comment. Uh, and Roman Andreevich, no, no objection. Therefore, you have uh, a con the opportunity to make a conclusion. First of all, I would like to thank the members of the station council uh, for uh, very important uh, critical remarks and and uh, for m uh, most uh, remarks. Uh, um, were, were vo uh, voiced by most members of the, the station council. That means that uh, uh, these are very, very important for me remarks and will be regarded as such. And 
and uh, I would like to thank uh, Stanislav Leonidovich, my academic advisor, uh, for steering me in the right direction in terms of theory. And uh, we discussed very interesting cases uh, and very, very productive work. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Roman Drandrevich, we congratulate you on behalf of the whole Station Council. And uh, please don't give up uh, your research and hope to see you uh, defending your doctoral, senior doctoral dissertation. Thank you very much. Um, the, the session is officially closed.